Hello and welcome to our brand new costume gallery which has just opened at Tully House Museum. It is full of incredible clothes and dresses that belonged to women who worked, who lived, who loved in Carlisle and North Cumbria. It is a unique gallery because it tells incredible local stories uh, through costume and through dresses and through outfits. This gallery tells the stories of five different women, including Dorothy Howard, the daughter of the 9th Earl of Carlisle, uh, the Ashbridge Tomlinson sisters, who travelled the world in the 1930s, and of course, Marjorie Jackson, who is better known as the Carlisle Miser. This case tells the stories of key moments in the lives of some of the women who have lived here. It tells of their marriages, the births of their children, and also their deaths. For example, this absolutely gorgeous wedding dress was worn by Julia Armstrong in 1948 when she got married at St James's Church in Carlisle. It's made of rationed material because it was after World War II and she would have made that um, herself. This case talks about where clothes come from, what they're made of, how they were created or adapted over time, and sort of how they've become what they are. So this gorgeous dress was made in the 1700s and it's made of Spitalfield silk, which was created in London by uh, Protestant immigrants. And it was probably altered at a later date to become a fancy dress costume. So this isn't how it would have looked in the 1700s, but someone has taken the dress and they've changed it later to make it into something new. This case talks about uh, work and women's working and recreation. So thinking about clothes they wore to be able to do the activities in their everyday life. So here we have a Cracker Packers uniform, which is worn by the women who pack the biscuits and make the biscuits at McVitie Cars Biscuit Factory in Carlisle. 